Shalom Tribe, this is Jax here in my kitchen today. I'm going to talk about Usnia and what Usnia is and different ways to use this amazing lichen for medicine, um, especially if you're out and, and about and you, you're on the run and you need some medicine. If you find some Usnia growing on a tree, then you have some medicine to help yourself. All right, so before we get started, I wanna go over how to identify it. So, as you can see, it has little lily pads. It's the way that it attaches to the tree and it kind of grows over. Okay, you're gonna find it in hardwood um, trees or pine trees or any kind of hardwood tree you're gonna find Usnia in. One way to identify Usnia is that if you take one of the tentacles, <laughs> kind of they kind of hang out and I'm gonna show you how they look like on a tree later but if you take the tentacle you kind of take out the there's like a bungee cord inside do you see this there's like a cord in the middle it's kind of stretchy okay that's what it grows on or it extends out from these tentacles oh there you go there's that cord now a lookalike is sea moss and sea moss core is actually black so that's how you know that you have um, usnia and not sea mouse. I believe sea mouse can be poisonous. This one isn't. Now, you can eat the entire plant. You can eat a little bit, you can nibble a little bit, you can put it in soups, but large amounts can cause liver damage. Just keep that in mind. You must respect this plant. It is an, um, an antibiotic. It has usnic acid, which is the antibiotic, antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral it has all these properties in it all right so one way to make sure you know how to properly use these plants is to especially nowadays because you cannot rely on google youtube internet forever okay there's gonna be a point where you're gonna have to learn these things and i have a few books the one this is the book by nicole I don't, i'm not sure how to say her name apillion um, the Forger's Guide to Wild Foods, okay? So I have these books in my home. I have a few of them that help me identify these plants. And it, it has a whole section on Usnia, okay? And it tells you all the identifications, everything you need to know. All right, so I'm gonna go over a few ways you can actually put this plant, oh, it's not a plant, it's a lichen, um, to good use. One way is to make a simple tincture. And all you're gonna do is literally just put her in a glass in a sanitized jar you're gonna fill her up okay you want to make sure there's no sticks you don't have sticks and other um you might want to give it a quick rinse if you want to most you may not need to do that um there's the chicken <laughs> the rooster all right so you're gonna fill up your jar you can also make a glycerite Okay, you can also take, you need a way to extract the properties of Usnia. So in this case, we're gonna be using 100% proof vodka. This way we can extract some of the water properties and some of the alcohol properties that are found in this um, lichen. After you fill your jar, like that, you're going to put your vodka in. And you can make as much or as little as um, of this tincture. It just depends on your, you know, what you're using it for. If it's just for your family, you can just do a little bit. If you're gonna use it to um, share with others, you might wanna do a larger mason jar. And you wanna make sure the entire plant's under the alcohol. So I think that should do it. Okay. Um, after you're done with that process you're gonna put your lid on and you're gonna going to label it that way you know what it is in about four to six weeks you should have a really good tincture now you can use organic um, glycerite um, I do recommend using a glycerite that comes from coconuts so that's the best <laughs> and then another way to use usnia in the wilderness that you're about and you cut yourself and you have a cut now, you don't wanna get the particulates of the usnia in your wound. 
So what do you do? You have to take it and you have to soak it. You're gonna put it in water and you're gonna make like a glob of it, okay? So if you have water, you're gonna make a, you know, put it right there. And you let it sit there for about three minutes. Three or three to four minutes should be fine. And let it just soak up and rehydrate in the water, okay? If you're out and you have a bandana, like it on your hair, your scarf, you need some kind of thin um, cloth. That way you're not getting the particulates inside your um, wound because that can, you know, cause an infection. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to fold this, um, just like that, and I'm gonna take my glob of like of this Usnia lichen, and I'm gonna put it in the middle, okay? And I'm going to fold it like so. And now this part right here, that's wet, that's what's going to be applied to your wound. So then you're going to wrap it around. And if you can, have somebody tie it for you, or you can tie it yourself. Basically, you wanna secure that right in there, okay? So that's how you apply it topically. Now, you can just, if you don't have a bandana, you can just take the glob and put place it right on your sore area. <laughs> and that's how you use usnea topically. Now, you can put some in, like if you wanna make a tea. Take a small amount, you only need about this amount. Put it in a teacup and put some boiling water on it. Then strain it and then you have an usnea tea. Now, usnea is very bitter, so you wanna make sure that, again, don't overeat it, can cause liver damage, but a little bit goes a long way with usnea. All right, that is it. I will come back and I'll show you how it looks like in the tree and how we harvest and identify it right on the tree. All right, all right, shalom. So here we are at the Nomadic Wonders property and we are looking for usnea. So as you can see, usnea is attached to this um, hardwood and this is how it looks like on the tree. Now it's gonna be accompanied by other lichens typically. So, um, so that's one way to identify it. The other way to identify it is those tentacles. And if you pull it, you're gonna see that cord, the white cord, like, as we talked about earlier. Okay, so when you harvest from the tree, you wanna make sure you do it ethically. That means that you don't wanna take a whole bunch from one tree. You wanna take a little bit and then go over to a different tree. Um, one thing that I did not mention before is that Usnea is really good for upper respiratory issues like bronchitis, pneumonia, and also um, it's really good for the GI tract. It's good for um, anything digestion, okay? And it is a powerful antibiotic. This is your natural antibiotics right here, all right? That is it for this video. Stay tuned for another video and I guess you guys can like and subscribe and whatever you do on YouTube, but okay. So that's it. This is Usnia in the wild.